Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We've just through a lot of the map. I've been taking poses are extremely adorable. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Is there a way here to cause trouble down there? No. We are still in the Simbin. And we need to get rid of this gentleman here. Apparently Chastity is already angry at me. Despite the fact that I haven't done anything. Remove yourself from that chamber, please. So I can have a one-on-one -on -one session with Chastity. Oh, we're getting more change. <laughs> Nothing happened here. The point is that uh, now he's no longer able to recash. So he will leave the room. Once it's run out of money. And I have used up all of my uh, blood again. Because I am the smart one. Hey. Look at those dance moves. With the knife and it, with the sword and everything. Uh, let me just save. And uh, then as soon as the door opens. We'll go and uh, bleed her dry. I don't see any reason why I should fight her otherwise. If I can just drink her blood. Because she's not supernatural. She's just a hunter. Just a hunter, really. But, how's the show? Look at that katana, that could be mine. Oh, look. You still have money? The chest the stance moves are not that impressive. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to wait this one out. So I'll be right back with you. Is he gonna run out of money? Yeah, he's leaving now. Great news. Please come out of the way. Thank you. Oh, oops. Is the door closed or open right now? Where's the sword? I didn't get the sword. Hello, I hope you're doing okay. Bye bye. Hello, friends. Hope you're doing alright. But the same thing was right across the road from here, and I explored the entire of the city before I got here. Or until I got back there. She's probably waiting for me upstairs, right? Look who's back. Don't. Couldn't stay away, could you? Why would I? About the hunting one. Mm -hmm. Hunter hunted. Mm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. She made our choice. It was her decision. Yes. But through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally. And I'm beginning to think it was fate. I'm next to you and in your head. Mm. You're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. Do you have plan on it? Tell me something else. Mm -hmm. What is your fable? Mm -hmm. No, I'm gone. So all those kind oh, words... Poor David Hatter. What's the matter? Is he mad? 
David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? He's in my head. No. It's about Kindred. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? The confiture? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed. And his less than silent partner must be... Executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David. And I'm too close to do what needs to be done. Hatter's play must remain unfinished and in a lot of pieces. I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator as Kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay. And somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who. Kill the traitor. But do not touch David. There will be no problem when I am true. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. My ways are many and hilarious. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. That's good. I like attention. Uh, yeah, I like attention. It's why I got myself in large crowds. I'm gone. Wait, what do you mean I got myself in large crowds? What do I mean I got myself in... Oh well. Sheet. I have 7 XP, but what do we want to get next is my question. I don't know. Very well. I'll just let it pile up for now. Alright, so we were to go the to the Luck girl. Star again. We have yet to visit Fast Mark or the Asp Pole. Both spots worth visiting, I believe. Maybe? I don't, I don't know about uh, one of them. But the Asp Hole is probably worth visiting. I think that is where there's another hunter to hunt. Either that or a hunter to loot from. Hi. Night eating you? I'm looking for a hatter. Is this your tea party? I'm David Hatter, the manager here. Did you call earlier? Because I had to give your room away. Apologies. My bad. Manager, a pity I was looking for a writer by your name. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Okay. Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, not, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. What do you force you should pen? Does a writer write, or does he just like... Ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120 page piece of film genius. But you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that, that's what I write mostly, I guess. Why can't more horrors be love stories? They mix divinely. Right, right, that's what I'm talking about. There, there hasn't been many good horror films in a long time, and that's. I'm gonna turn that all around. Like. When I bust the stuff I'm working on, it's going to be like a, a, a revolution in the horror genre, okay? What do you force with your pen? Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like tons of people make vampire flicks, okay? popular characters. But me, I'm going to be doing the real deal. Like not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be like, it's going to be believable. I would like to rent your movie's blueprint. Do you have one for me? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Because, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. I can put your script in the hands of the three makers. I know many. You do? 
Man, that's fantastic! I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. Did others lend their voices to the story? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. Everyone in this city pants for fame. Is he any different? Okay, okay. He's a guy. He calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film ideas all the time. He's, he's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I, I love how his mind works. Hmm, I'm late. I'm late for an important date, Hatta. Is that so it's gonna be? Alright, so. A quest log. Yeah. Okay, so I need to check my email and I need to check Santa Monica. Let's do those things. Hey dad, take me home. Hop in. To Santa Monica, we go. I like Julius. Oh well. This seems like a whole different direction, doesn't it? We are instead looking at something far more dangerous. I wonder if Kane were to sign someone today, how powerful would they be? Compared to everyone else. I mean. They technically be brand new second. Uh, second generation vampires. You're being extremely rude to me right now. Can I walk past this? There we go. Yeah, that guy is strong. Okay, I was supposed to switch over to the hammer, was I not? Here we go, let me just make my way through these cars. There we go. Apparently I can't climb onto cars, so we're gonna have to do this the slow way. Really, fire. That's a thick move, sir. That's a cheap, thick move, sir. We met before, haven't we? Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! What dark dreams drove you to this nightmare? What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. Your brushed butcherings brought the sun on our brethren. You think your bullshit vampire rules mean a goddamn thing to me? Nothing matters to me. My ears are waiting for your words. My family, my children were butchered by small time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there in the way? Death is no healer. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. So you took the scales in your own hand? Revenge, justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws. You must tame the beast inside you. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. The beast takes his claws deep into you. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! Control your beast or the Chester's Hound will feast on you. I can't turn my 
back on the evil in this world. The Musk River must be respected. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one! Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Well, justice calls for you and I am your hand. Okay, maybe, maybe the hammer is not the best weapon for this specific foe. Because this specific foe has supernatural resistance, which is not ideal. Give me a moment, sir. I would like to switch over to Max. Because it has a higher lethality score, which is something I need with you, sir. Do you have flappy wings? Looks to me like you have some flappy wings there. Ugh. Missing is not the best thing to do in this. It gives another chance, another opening. Which is not something we need for them to have. But yeah, there we go, that, uh, that... I'm sure we saw that guy in the diner before. Not 100% certain. Hey, how you doing? What do you need? I seek the questions! Like what? Uh, I'm no longer here. I don't think he has any news. The asylum probably has no news either. So I could check. There's no harm in checking. Hey, Carol, how are we doing? I don't have anything else to say to you. I won't forget what happened here. But I'd advise you to. If you keep silent and stay out of my business, we'll never be at odds. Just remember whose city this is. We keep it between our minds. Okay, nothing new here. No one else is here, it's just you. Why are your friends away? What, what, what do, you, do you want? Julius? Are you Caesar? No, 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 no. Has your tongue been whispering to the wrong bloods? Please, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't mean, mean, I didn't mean to. I, I don't, I don't uh, uh, understand what, what, what I am. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. Heavy is the price of loose lips. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I'll never do it again. The light of your world sends a final steep. No, 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 no. Oh, God, God. The rules are written in obsidian. Oh, please, find your heart. Please, find your heart. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. You, you, you could let me go. I, I, I promise. I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles. I swear. The only choice I have is to serve the blind lady. No, no, I actually have other choices. And then your shadow could never again fall on the city of dark angels. I, 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 will, I will. I will. I promise. Please, f f f f find your heart. If I smell you again, it will be burned ashes. <laughs> thank, th th thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Never again should my eyes behold your stuttering stupidity. Farewell. <laughs> Ah, that's that. I can hear a phone call. Hey, darn it. I can't answer the phone, though. But why not? If I can hear it, I should be able to answer it. So the street phone... That there has always been a bit odd to me. I haven't really seen any news during my motor existence. Alright, how are you doing? Yaku's back. Dolly. Couldn't stay away, could you? The Hatter. Mm hmm. The Hatter's words for you. Oh, 
I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just, I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here, would you tear it up for me? Bet I shred and red. Give me. Thanks. I know the name of the Hatta's Chatta. Are they? I mean, did you? No more words shall escape its lips. It must have been difficult. But take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. What quantities of appreciation? Can't you tell? I simply adore you. You're so sweet to me. The way you protect me. What would I have done had you never come in here? Oh, why can't they all be like you? The world could be so, so beautiful. Here, take this. A reminder of the beautiful girl whose heart you stole. I'll keep you in my heart and the picture in my pocket. Boop, boop. Oh. Look who's back. Hi. Please, call me Vivi. Tell me something. Mm-hmm. What is your fable? Mm-hmm. Never mind, I, I can still learn nothing new from you, so that's that's fine. We've done our business That's here. fine. We should probably go and look at the... I don't know, Fastbuck isn't the real place. Let's look at the Aspole, which is apparently... Ashes place, I guess? Or is Ashes place somewhere? No, that, this must be Ashes place. So we check that out next, and then after that we will actually go and uh, look at the computer stuff we were supposed to go look at. So yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye bye!